How does the police department intend to tackle rule breakers who skirt protocols under the state of emergency? In an NTN midday broadcast on Friday, 5th February 2021, Police Commissioner Severin Moshery details law enforcement's plan of action to ensure public compliance. Why people are not going to cooperate, if people are not going to follow the protocols, we are going to use the law and enforce it fully. I mean, we went in the beginning, we started by handing out masks to people who did not have. We warned people, we spoke to them, so I think it, it, the time has come for full enforcement and that is what we'll continue to do. The start of the SOE has already witnessed a zero-tolerance approach with adherence to curfew restrictions, where individuals caught on the streets past curfew hours have had their vehicles towed away. Moshery addresses the hard-line approach taken by enforcement. Well, then I think the time has come for, if you want to use the term hardcore policing and hardcore enforcement, I must say for the last um, two nights, people have been reasonably well behaved as it relates to, to the city. However, in some of the, the, the our districts, we've not been getting full of help. But we will continue to police it. We will continue to have boots on the ground and ensure that people do what they have to do. The police commissioner outlined some of the arrests effected for various breaches of the COVID-19 protocols from institutional violations, illegal mass crowd events, home quarantine, hotel, bar, and transportation breaches. We continue to ask members of the public to cooperate. We do not always want to use the long arm of the, of the law. What we prefer is cooperation. And we've said it before, we are all in this thing together. It is not about the police against the public. It is not about us against them. If all of us come together and play our part, then we, the police, will not have to use those stringent measures. Commissioner Moshery applauded the efforts of the men and women of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force for their continued enforcement of the law throughout the pandemic. He also wished law officers who have contracted COVID-19 a speedy recovery. Sulaj Alfred, HDS News Force.